Oh boy, this is this is a special video. Well, not special, but uh, this video is this video unorganized and and I wasn't really intended to have it, but I decided to do it anyway. So yeah. Hello everyone. Today, uh, I'm here. I'm here for a tutorial actually. So lately, I've been seeing a lot of my friends getting into figure arts, and I'm and I know that people are very excited for the SA figure art comedy gene and uh, Mark Boost too for geeks. So. I want to help out. I want to make a. I want to make a tutorial. I want to make a. Ah, sorry. I want to make a tutorial video on how to pose your action figures. And uh, how do I? How do you pose a figure, Goku? Well, it's that easy. I'll show you because there are a lot of things to do. All right, so let me go move. Take a out of the way. Tycoon and Bumblebee. We have Kruger here, right? You know, rising Kruger. Okay, so you want to be very gentle with with how you pose him because if you don't pose him, well, if you manhandle the figure, the figure can break, and uh, you don't want that. Like for real, you don't want you don't want none of your figures to break. You can pose them anywhere you want to. So, we'll say this: be careful of the limitation for the figure, because if you go beyond the limitation for the figure for his posing, the well, the leg, the arm, any piece will snap, and uh, you don't want that. You don't want to have it to your to a one thousand dollar figure. Like that, you see? You can pose them any way you want to. You just gotta be very careful with how you pose them. Like for, for another example, let's move a uh, crew out of the way and get to uh. Let's get on to Bumblebee. Now, for a domestic figure, it's way more easier to pose to pose them. Lightning collection, Lightning collection, and Marvel Legends are a perfect example due to the fact that they're like twenty dollars slash thirty dollar figure, and they're very easy to pose. Bumblebee is the exact same way. You can pose them any way you want to. You just gotta get the right angle and the right position to have them pose up any way you want to. See? Granted, this is a tr granted. This is a twenty dollar. Well, technically, yeah, this is a twenty dollar uh, domestic figure I got at Walmart this weekend. But uh, yeah, you can pose pretty well. But he is limited. He is he is limited. He is limited for how to pose him up. But yeah. But but hey, it's what it is. Now on to uh well, eh. <laughs> nice one. You see Aguilera here. You want to be really gentle with. You want to be gent. Okay, you want to be gentle with, with, with these figures, because figure arts are not like domestic. Figure arts are not domestic release. No, the Japanese import that came all the way from Japan. But to be fair, comrade figure were made in China, but still. But, but you get what I'm trying to say. You want to be nice and gentle with, 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 with how you pose them. Because if you don't, well, a little snap will happen. Uh, yeah. yeah, you don't want that. And uh, you can also do like uh, fight poses with them too. Let me show you. So uh, let me... Uh, Without a sign, 
So let me go out do this, show you what I'm talking about. See that? Now, you always you always want to do for your pick. You always want to do for poses is make the figure look at you, look at the. Look. You always want to make the figure look at the other figure in the exact same helmet, so so it look like they're talking to each other, or giving sir or giving each other a intimidating look. That's the best thing about posing photography is that uh, you always want to bring life to your pictures. And, uh, oh, great, let's try that again, shall we? You always want to try to bring life to your picture. Don't just put them like in a vanilla pose 24 7. That's just boring. I mean,. No fan. Uh, no fan. Put some, put some like, oh, okay. Put some effort into what I'm trying to say, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Put some effort into base, into it. Something like this. See, you see that? You see the hair? They both look at your eye to eye, and uh, that's what, and uh, that's what you want to do for posing a figure. Make sure your figure, make sure the helmet, the head is looking at the other figure's head, so it looks like that they're both in like they both are in a they both are in a semi or also in a intimidating fight scene because this, because this. Works right here. No lie, no cap. It actually does. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. I might do it for a picture. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> but yeah. You 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 always want to be careful because again, the figures are the figures are the figures aren't domestic releases. They're like a hundred dollar. They're like well, he's well, he's a domestic release. These three are. They're all. They're all premium Bandai figures. But but yeah, it takes. It took me like three three years, in fact, to get to get the hang of posing my uh, figures. Hey, no joke. I start taking collecting seriously around uh, 2020 when I first got into Common Rider, and after that, I start at that I start practicing and practicing how to pose, and I got really bad at it now. And here I am, here I am talking about talk about how to pose an action figure really well. You want to be you want to be very careful and gentle with the joints as well because if you don't. If you're if you're manhandling a figure, then uh, that's a that's a bad that's a bad sign because that's the easiest way for it, your figure to break. Trust me. In the past, I had a, I had a few figures that I had a few figures that were good, and some were bad, and I unfortunately manhandled them and I broke them because well they well they gave up on me. <laughs> Rest in peace to my Senko Kuseho Neo decade. But hey, it but hey, it's what it is. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, posing ye. 
Both of these guys are really, both of these guys are like somewhat easy, but at the same time, it's gonna take practice. Like, I, like for real though. When I first got, when I first got into like photography, my posing was trash. No joke, you can go on my Instagram page and check for yourself. It was trash. But after years of getting more figures, of, of me learning how to get better, get better with the YouTube game and all that, I learned how to, well, I learned how to pose and uh, how to pose my stuff and how to get better for taking pictures and all that. And well, that helped me. And that helped me who I am to this very day. And now here I am making a video talking to you guys how to pose the figure, how, what to do, what not to do when uh, taking them out of the box. It's gonna take time. You're not gonna get the hang of it like in one day. Heck no. Like for me, I I start I, I start taking my up. I start taking photography seriously around 2020. Well, 2021, I'll say. I was getting. I just start collecting camera around 2020, and uh, I was bad at posing. 2021, I got better at it. Same for lightning collection as well. Same for 2023. But I'm trying to two minutes today. And here we are. Oops, sorry. Here we are in 2023. And here we are in 2023. With me uh, talking talk to you guys how to pose the figures. If you want to if you want to get into photography. Alright. Let, Alright, let's do this. Let's get this video up to, let's say 100 likes. If this video gets 100 likes, I will make a second video talking about how to get, how to get, how to, how to, how to make a video, a second video on how to get into photography, because I know there are a lot of people who want to know about, want to know, Broku, how do you take good pictures with, with your action figure? Broku, what camera do you need? What camera do I need? What setup do I need to be like yours? I will explain all that if this video gets up to a thousand likes. <laughs> Granted, if we get up to 100, then that's fair too, but still. But still, anyone can work. So let me go get a lightning collection figure because I have a, I have a perfect idea what I can do for this. So I have two lightning collection figures with me. I have Tommy and Trent. And uh, we're gonna make a, uh, I'm going to create a fight scene. And uh, you, you know, you, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna see where this, where this going. Well, you're watching the video, but uh, you, but you get what I'm trying to say. Now, you wanna be careful with, now you wanna be very careful with how you pose like your collection, granted, they can handle, they can handle the posability a lot more better than, uh, a lot more better kind of, you say, than the import. I say that because these are like $20, juice less $30 figures. Posing and lightning collecting figure is fun, but at the same time, they do have their limitation for doing that. And that's like one of the downsides about, 
about this toy line. See this? That's the power of posing, baby. <laughs> but yeah, no, sorry. but yeah, no. They have the limitation, the up to down for the toy line, and uh, posing them, help posing them is fun. Articulation wise, well, I wouldn't call it the best. That's for sure. It's not the worst either. It could have been better. But yeah. And I'm on with that. I can't tell you. Now if not for those who are watching this, I can't see I can't see what figure you have in your uh I can't see what figure you guys have in your collection right now or in your hand because well i'm not stalking you guys uh all right all right i don't know why i say it like that please forgive me but uh i i can't tell what figure you guys have right now but uh i'm gonna say this to get good to get good at posing your figures here's what you need to do you need you need to keep practicing non-stop Use your head because for my picture, I use my head for like creative fight scene that I would love to see happen in Tokusatsu, and uh, I c and that helps me a lot. You need that. You need special effects. Granted, granted, if you have like any effects from Lightning Collection, use those for your effects. And uh. Use sticky tack to help you sticky tack to put on the fit to put on the figure so like so the so the spark effect look like it's happening. Perfect example for my tycoon thumbnail one the picture you see tycoon slicing psycho blue and, and you see effects happening and you see ace you see geese shooting psycho red. Yeah, I use sticky tack for those effects. And you can you can as well. If you have like if you have like any type of effect piece for figures, use those. Cause those will help your posing and for your pictures way better. But yeah, keep practicing. Be careful with how you pose because limitations are scary for imports and non-import figures. And make sure, make sure you don't manhandle the figure, cause that's, <laughs> that's one of the main issues with being a toy collector, unfortunately, how people manhandle their figures. And uh, you don't want that, like for real, you don't want that, you don't want that at all. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social medias in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Till the, til the next video, which will probably be on, to be honest, which will probably be on Comic Talk. Yeah, Comic Talk. Oh, God. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about, Kai. I'll be making a video, like, really soon, in fact, of a, of a new series I want to talk about. But, uh,. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. I hope this I hope this tutorial helped you guys with what to do and what not to do. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh I'm out. Follow my social, subscribe to my channel, try to hit a thousand subs. If you guys help, we can do it. My name's Aaron, and I'm out. Bye.